All right, folks, let's talk about our latest winter storm that continues to make its way into the area. We're just at the beginning stages of this system, and it will continue to evolve as we go throughout the evening hours. So here's the latest on the advisories and from the Quad Cities and points north, and that's where we're going to see uh, the highest amounts of snow accumulations on top of the ice that we've already received out there. And then as you head down farther towards the south, we'll see that eventually changing over to snow, and you too will also pick up at least a couple of inches of snow on top of the icy conditions you're going to experience throughout the evening hours. So let's talk about why we're seeing the different precipitation types across the area. So when we have the temperature that's below freezing from the clouds all the way down to the ground, we call that basically from top down, we're cold enough for snow. So the precipitation starts as snow and it falls all the way through the column of air as snow. Now what we had today, we started the morning off with some warm air that was moving in, but not at the surface. Remember, it was still very cold this morning at the surface, but a loft or as we got closer to the clouds, we had this little layer of warm air that was in place. And so what happened is we had the snow that was falling from the clouds. It was melting in that warmer layer of air. And then as it made its way closer to the ground, it got into just enough cold air to kind of refreeze out there. And so we had that moisture that fell that looked like rain. And then as it hit, made contact with the surface that was below freezing, it froze on contact and that's why we have those icy conditions uh, that we're dealing with and some of us will continue to deal with that throughout the evening hours. Now as we take a look around the area right now we're looking pretty good at least on some of the main roadways here. This is I-74 at the last Iowa exit right now looks just uh, wet. Watch out for those slick spots and those icy spots but again not snow covered at this time. Same thing as you head south towards US 34 in Burlington. Notice I-80 at Walcott again looking mainly wet not snow covered but again if it's wet it probably also has some icy spots as well, so you're going to want to slow it down. Take a look at the temperatures again along I-80 and points to the south. We're right at that freezing mark, right around 32 to 33 degrees. It doesn't make a difference because everything at the surface is frozen. Remember, we were below zero just 24 hours ago, so that temperature on the roads, the pavement, the sidewalks, the rails on the decks, they haven't really risen above freezing yet, so they're going to stay below freezing. And notice temperatures up towards the Highway 20 uh, corridor there in the mid-20s, so that's why they're definitely seeing all snow. Now let's take a look at the radar. You'll be able to see that rain snow line really continues to drift off to the south and east from Kiwani over towards Mount Pleasant, approaching the north side of Burlington now, so it's making some decent progress to the south. And this is a correlation coefficient product that we use. A lot of times we show you this during severe weather to define where we may have some debris showing up, but we, this can also tell us a different object in the sky. And so you see this maroon color here. That's pretty much the indication areas along and north of I-80 as all snow. Notice where you start to see some of the yellows and oranges down towards Galesburg and Burlington right there. That's the rain snow line and notice how it's working its way to the south. So we can actually track that for you and show you here that this rain snow line basically sitting directly on top of Woodhall right now and approaching Alexis off to the north and west. So the main storm system well down to our south across southern Missouri. Now as that rotates in, we're getting that warm air, but now we're starting to tap into that cold air on the backside. So that's why we're going to see all of this precipitation switching over to snow after midnight, and that's when the snow will start to add up and we can see several inches before this gets out of here by Wednesday afternoon. In fact, we're talking potentially three to six in the metro with high amounts of six to eight or higher off to the north. Behind that, then it's all about the cold, folks, especially by Thursday and Friday as an Arctic cold front's moved through. We're talking about bitter cold air moving into the area. How about wind chills 20 to 35 degrees below zero? That's getting close to wind chill warning uh, category there. So we're going to be watching that for you closely. Your seven day forecast, though, there you see it. The snow gets out of here tomorrow morning, and then it's just downright cold by Friday with highs near five degrees.